Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Good morning everybody. We have some lighting going on in hopes that I can stay in focus, but I probably won't, but I'm only gonna be on here for a minute. So it is about 6 a.m. We are headed to Starbucks to get some coffee. There's a fresh dusting of snow outside and it's 21 degrees. So quite cold, a little snowy, um, and absolutely Christmassy and beautiful. Today, we are going to work like usual, and then um, when we get back, it'll be Wrap It Up Wednesday, which I will be sharing a different way to wrap your gifts, or just another tip or trick that you can use when wrapping your gifts this year. So, with that, I'm gonna get to Starbucks, I'm gonna get my coffee, and I'm gonna go have a great day at work. And my fingers are crossed for all of you that you have the exact same and that you have a perfect day and an amazing day and the next time I see you we will be heading home all right my friends I am oh there's those brake lights again um, I am on my way home from work it is around five o'clock feeling a little smidge tired but it was a really good day we got some snow that kind of wasn't planned for but it has made the roads a little slick and it's super cold so I'm going to hop off here so I can focus on my drive home and when we get home, we will officially kick off the festivities of Vlogmas Day 11. See you soon. I go do business. All right, let's get him a cookie. Aren't these shoes cute? They're Clark's Wallabies and they're so stinking comfortable. Oh, I love this tree. Do you want a cookie now? I get you a cookie. Look at you wound up. You're almost all better. You're back to your old self. I washed the wine glasses last night. I'm so glad you love them. Let's go ahead and see what day 11 is. I hope it, oh, it's a white wine. I really don't want a white. In there. Luckily, we are stocked up on reds, and this is a red blend. So we are going to celebrate. Oh wait, I didn't even tell you guys what this one was. This is a Chardonnay. It's a Chardonnay from California, has satisfying buttery texture with notes of ripe pear, Meyer lemon, and warm vanilla. That sounds delicious. I just think a snowy night deserves a red wine. He is like one spurt of energy that lasts a few minutes and then he's laying down. That is like the biggest change with him. Mm, that's very good. I love the glasses. Oh, also, some of you have asked where these glasses are from. They are Burberry, they are from Lens Crafters. I'm still in my coat. We are going to open some advent calendars. Yay. Day 11 is a little box. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. It is a Body Shop Aloe Calm Sheet Mask. Our fun feminist fact today is, American actress Laverne Cox is the first openly transgender person to be on the cover of Time Magazine and be nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for acting. She's also stunningly gorgeous. Day 11, will there be anything in you? Oh, it's a cute little pen with like snow globey type things on it and a little star. That's cute. Pour some sugar on me. Okay, there's like these, they look like caramels. Pumpkin pie caramels. Pumpkin caramels are coated with a delicate white chocolate and infused with cinnamon and nutmeg. Well, that sounds like a pleasure. Oh, 
Ooh, those are pretty. They are navy and a blush rose gold pen. I really like those. Those are going to work with me. Day 11 of our pin. It's a little half moon with a face on it. I really love that one. Nativity scene, day 11 is a big one. Oh my goodness. It's the first wise men. Hey Joe, you get to stay in the stable one more night before you get kicked out because we're not sure if you're Joseph or not because that is definitely a wise man. I'm not confused. I feel very bad for the cow and the donkey because there's no room in the inn or the stable for them because Joseph and Mary take up too much real estate and baby Jesus got to have a spot. Joe, you live to see another day in the stable if that really is your name. Diptyque day 11. Okay, finally something different. And I think these are little, yes, they are little ornaments. I really like those. I will definitely add them to this tree and then look what he's doing. You on your perch? We already opened advent calendars and I haven't even taken off my jacket. So I'm gonna go change and then I'll see you guys shortly. Decided to serve some snow globe realness again this evening. Also want to let you know that I picked up this book. It's called The Murder for Christmas. So I thought I'd read you guys the back blurb really quick because this sounds great. When Mordecai Tremaine arrives at the country retreat of one Benedict Graham on Christmas Eve, he discovers that the revelries are in full swing in the sleepy village of Shabroom. And but so too are the tension amongst the assortment of guests. When midnight strikes, the party goers discover that presents aren't the only things nestled under the tree. There's a dead body too. A dead body that bears a striking resemblance to Father Christmas. With the snow falling and suspicions flying, it's up to Mordecai to sniff out the culprit and prevent anyone else from getting murdered for Christmas. So that is the book I'm going to take on our weekend trip. Um, which is terrific. Today was hold a door open. That was simple. It's something I do all the time and interesting. Marnie Goldberg and I literally just messaged about this and she's like, isn't that just something everyone does or is that just something they do in the South? I will tell you, people do not hold the door up here in the North and it is something we should be doing all the time for people. Um, but I do not think it's something that I see happen often enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to light my candles. A lot of you have asked me about burning candles and this is what I'll say. When a candle will not burn even is when they get blown out too early. So Stephen and I did not let this one burn enough so I'm gonna light it right away so it can burn a little bit more evenly. But you gotta make sure the whole top gets liquefied so you don't get any of these edges because that's what will stop it from burning evenly. You will see this candle on the other hand has been burning evenly. There's this little tiny lip here, but that's not too concerning. But that's how you get a candle to burn evenly every time. Yeah, I just got home. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to film right now and just try to get everything done. Yeah, he's been outside. He's gone, done his business, all the things, babe. All right, please be careful, I love you. All right, bye-bye. Today is Wrap-It Wednesday, and I wanted to show you how I stretch out my expensive wrapping paper so I still get the whole impact of it, but I don't have to use a lot of it. So this is from Rifle Paper Company. It's super cute, but you only get three sheets for a hefty price tag. So I'm gonna show you how I use it for this gift. What I'm going to do is you want to find one that has like a really good repeating pattern. And what I'm basically going to create is my own little ribbon by finding a nice even spot for it and then making one neat crease. I've created this really cool ribbon and then you can just add it to your gift. The other thing I like to do if you wanna do less of a decorative piece, I love to attach half of the sheet and wrap half of the present in each of the colors. But if you simply now add a quick string to this, 
And what I really like to do is create a couple bows. So after I do my first bow, I'm gonna go ahead and double knot this bow to kind of lock that one into place. And then I'm just gonna make another bunny ear, just like we would with our shoes. Make the bow. It'll be a little uneven, so pull your strings as need be to even it out. Once you get it even, lock that one in with a bow. I'm gonna do six for this one. And then do one more bunny ear. I just think this is like a really cute way for your present to look a little different um, and also to get a lot of life out of the more expensive wrapping papers. Like I said, you can change this up. You can use half of each paper and connect them with double-sided tape. I've done that many times. And it's just a way to use this as an accent piece and not as all the paper because literally I'd be able to wrap one gift with one sheet and it would be gone. But instead, I can continue to use this paper over and over again. I feel way less guilty spending the amount of money for this paper knowing how many gifts I will be able to share the joy of this paper with. Did you say you were sorry? No, because I was on my way out of work and I had to run these errands, so I didn't have time to say I was sorry. Steven. So I, I, I Oh, this is tape to the first. What's tomorrow? It's Magnet. Uh, it's day 12. How a part of your family have you lost touch with the, with the past year? You lost touch with in the past year. How was his day? Good. I actually did my advent calendar of kindness with you, him today. What do you mean? I held the door open for him. Bubba's, someone held the door open for you? Well, I, yes. you, I usually... The, that goes without saying. Bubbles was the one who Come here. What's up here? I got gluten free. I didn't know that it was gluten free until I. I was going to ask, do you know you got gluten free pasta? Oh my goodness, it's another big day. We are going to open Chad's tea. Also, people were surprised you didn't know Bob's your uncle as a phrase. I've never heard that before. What's today, the 11th? It is the 11th. Let me do the tap. Okay. It was a coupon. No coupon, uh, but caramel shortbread. Oh, I like that one. That one's very good. That wasn't very, we didn't have any witty banter on this one. I guess every night is not a witty banter night. We'll have a really better with dog days and Christmas. I think we are a little sleepy this evening. Yeah, sorry, sorry, no witty banter. You're tired, I can tell, look at this. Maybe he'll give us some witty. Will you give us witty banter? Yes, I love my advent calendar. It's all the way up here. <gasps> oh, that oh, one's cute. Lucky. Oh, show them that. This is cute. Look, it's a little, little Santa, Santa belt. belt. Now he's about to destroy it. Thank you. Bye. I feel the Kardashian with all these cameras around me. I hope you all just heard that. He said he feels like a Kardashian with all these cameras, but it's one small camera. Um, I think today is another one of those like low key vlogmas days. During the week, they're just, some of them are hits and some of them are misses. We're not witty and funny tonight. Well, I think we have just one sleepy family on our hands this evening. We're not nearly as witty as we normally would be. So I think that we are going to call it a night, an early night tonight, and just enjoy dinner together and hang out with Bubba's and just keep it really low key. Um, because we have a big weekend coming up. There's lots to prep tomorrow, lots of packing um, in the vlogmas tomorrow, all the things. So we will keep this one low key and know that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are going to be fun-filled family ventures in the mountains. So, with that, I'm going to end this vlog like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.